Hello friends, today I am going to show you the human machine interface that I made for playing driving games. I own a controller but I wanted to have a real car like experience so I decided to make this wheel out of salvage parts. Let me show you how this works. So down here I have a pedal which I can press with my foot like this. Up here I have a, a wheel which is the main control wheel for the car and over here I have the few buttons for the controlling of the car as well. And here I have the handbrake, so when I let go of the handbrake and I press on the throttle, I can then control the car using this wheel. And so as you can see, when I turn this wheel towards the left or the right, the car moves towards the right as well. And then when I turn it towards the right, left, here the car also moves towards the left. I can then slowly accelerate the car using the throttle or the pedal which is at my foot. And over here, I, when I want to brake, I can put this handbrake so the car just stops. And then over here I have the reverse button so I can click this button so the car starts moving in reverse. And then I can again control this car using the wheel. As you can see here I am reversing and I am using the wheel to control the car. And then again I can move forward by pressing the throttle down here. So now let me show you the technical part of how this works. Okay friends, so I have changed the camera angle and now it is pointing towards the top. So as you can see here, the wheel itself is just a simple potentiometer attached to this circular lid that I took off of a sweet container and then I used a couple of screws to attach it to this little circle circular adapter which is connected to the potentiometer. This potentiometer has three wires attached to it which connects it to the microcontroller here. Oh, from the microcontroller as you can see there are several wires coming off which is going into this breadboard. Here as I showed before there are the buttons which act as a control panel. From this control panel uh, the breadboard there are few extra wires like this one for the accelerator and this one for the handbrake which are going into this separate separate little modules and so as you can see here this is just a le regular push button down here which just is activated by pressing this lego lever which is connected to this hinge back here and it is zip tied to the to this section same with the accelerator it is just a little button here which is then attached to this pedal uh, which then when this pedal is pressed it um, starts accelerating because it presses the button now as in how the microcontroller receives the signal well all it does is it has a little uh, ground pin which is connected to one side of all of these buttons here and it then when the button is pressed the input pins of the microcontroller here they get the ground signal which uh, is then converted to data which is readable by windows same goes for the potentiometer here so uh, here there is many uh, there is two wires each uh, for ground and voltage so when this potentiometer receives a voltage and rotate it then it applies a resistance which depends upon the degree of the potentiometer and where it is rotated so then that voltage is then sent to the input pin here this controller then calculates the voltage and defines the exact position of this so using that data we can control the car now the that is for the how the microcontroller receives and calculates the data for as to how windows recognizes this as a, a controller as a wheel and not a microcontroller that for that we actually reflash the controllers uh, bios so if you see here this chip this is the main processor and the storage so this has some flash memory in it this flash memory is deleted so the current bios and which is basically like the basic operating system it is deleted of this uh, microcontroller and it then is reflashed or basically it is rewritten so a new BIOS is put into this which makes it show up like a microcontroller to Windows and once it not a microcontroller sorry it shows up as a uh, as a wheel to Windows so once this is shown up as a wheel we can then the games or any game recognizes this as a regular wheel which you would buy off uh, of any website or some place where you can buy so it just works like the same way there is no other additional things required.
okay so this right here this is the code which is uh, currently running on the microcontroller so here we are just defining the pins as to inputs and here it is just reading whether there is ground coming into the pins as i said before that is the way it calculates whether a button is being pressed or it is not being pressed and here down here uh, this is a, the analog read so this is reading the data coming from the potentiometer and that data it calculates the position using the voltage as i said before and here this command is just for returning the data to readable data for windows now the reflashing which i said is required uh, to um, make it show up as a joystick to windows and not as a microcontroller is here so uh, when this is run this code then we can erase the flash memory present on the uh, microcontroller currently so that erases all its uh, current data and the current bios on it which is the factory bios and then it will load a new uh, factory bios load a new bios not a factory bios which is then created by me and it then defines it as a as a joystick to windows so once it's defined as a joystick all the games recognize it like normal as i said before so that's basically the software side of things so yeah guys i hope you guys liked it and if you want to see an uh, in-depth tutorial on how to make this exact setup you can check my uh, tutorial which will be linked down in the description also guys if you like this please like the video and subscribe to the channel and share this to as many people as you like thank you